Hi, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this video, you will learn how to create circular flow diagram with morph transition in PowerPoint. As you might be aware, morph transition is available only for those who have Office 365 subscription. Those who don't have that subscription can follow the tutorial still. And of course, they can always replace morph transition with a simple fade transition to get pretty much similar effect. Only that adding morph transition will add that little extra zing. So whether you have Office 365 or not, please follow the tutorial and you will really be benefited in learning a very useful diagram in your presentations. The effect you are going to learn today looks like this. This is a simple circular flow diagram. I created this using SmartArt. Yes, SmartArt and I'll tell you how exactly to create this beautiful diagram using SmartArt. This is the first step and then on a click you can see that the viewer's attention is brought to the second step and then to the third step and take a look at how smoothly the text moves from one place to another and then the next one you can see that even the orientation has changed beautifully with morph transition and then the attention is brought to the next step and then finally the attention is brought to the last step. So this is how you can take a simple circular flow diagram to a whole new level using morph transition in PowerPoint. First let us learn how to create this beautiful circular flow diagram and then I'll tell you how exactly to draw viewers attention to different parts of your circular flow diagram using morph transition. So are you ready to start? Great. Now let us go to a new slide and we will start by using SmartArt. So let us go to insert SmartArt. The diagram I'm looking for is under relationships and it is called as a simple radial Venn diagram. So this is what it is and I'm going to say OK. Now that inserts this basic diagram. I'm going to add two more circles in the rim. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to hit enter and enter again. As you can see there are six circles around this large circle. Now I am going to hold the shift button down as I select each of these circles in the rim and I am going to hold the shift button down as I click and drag these circles so that you can see that there is a point where all these circles meet at the center. So as you can see here this is where they all meet at the center. So you need to do a little bit of adjustment to make sure that you get that exactly right. Now that looks beautiful. Now we have got our base diagram in place. The next thing I'm going to do is to convert this into shapes. So let us go to the design tab of PowerPoint ribbon, go to convert and say convert to shapes. Now that breaks down this entire smart art into a group of auto shapes. Now I'm going to right click, go to group and say ungroup. Now we have got these individual shapes available. Now I don't want the central circle here. So I'm going to select the central circle by clicking and dragging my cursor across so that I can select just that circle and I'm going to hit delete. Now I want to remove the outline for all these circles. So I'm going to select this, press Ctrl A so I can select all the circles here. Go to shape outline and say no outline. Now. I am going to go to the format option here which is under the drawing tools. This is a contextual tab. Then go to merge shapes and I am going to use the option called fragment. Now all the shapes have been fragmented into individual shapes and this is very important for us to create our graphic. The first thing I am going to do is to select the shape here in the middle. Hold the shift button down and then select the next shape and the next shape and then go to shape fill and then fill it with a different color maybe this orange color and then I'm going to go to the format tab go to merge shapes and say shape union now you can see that there is a bit of transparency already added to the shape I want to remove that so I'm going to right click go to format shape go to fill now I'm going to make the transparency to 0% and now I have a beautiful arc shape which forms the first step of the circular flow diagram. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the remaining ones as well. I'm going to select this shape, this shape and this shape 
and go to the format tab merge shapes and say shape union and I'm going to give it a different kind of a fill color maybe this blue color and reduce the transparency to 0% and this looks beautiful now let us do that again select this one this one and this one go to format merge shapes and say shape union go to shape fill and give it this yellow color go to color and transparency is 0% that looks beautiful do that again this one this one this one while holding the shift button down format merge shapes union and then go to transparency 0% and choose a different color maybe something like this green color now this one this one this one and then format merge shapes union and then transparency 0% and let us choose some other color maybe something like this blue and this one this one and this one format merge shapes union and then transparency is 0% and choose a different color maybe like this one that looks beautiful now I can select all the shapes by pressing ctrl A and then go to shape outline and give white outline and then you can see that there is some anomaly here. No matter how carefully you do this process, you will still have some overlaps that are marked by this white outline. It is very simple to remove these outlines. You just need to select this. Go to right click, go to edit points and here you can see that there is this black square. You right click on this and say delete point. The same way we select here, delete point. All we are doing is a very simple cleanup operation. You can see that this is pretty clean now. I'm going to do the same thing for this one as well. Right click edit points and I'm going to delete these portions here which are not really required and this looks beautiful now. Now I'm going to select all these shapes once again by pressing Ctrl A. Press Ctrl G to group them so that I can resize this like so. Beautiful. Now I'm going to give one uniform color to all these shapes. So let me go to shape fill and choose a gray color like this. Now I want to bring the viewer's attention to individual steps. I'm going to pick up the text box tool and I'm going to give a simple caption. It is you can replace this sample text. You can write anything else. It is completely up to you. And here we have given a simple caption to our first step let me increase the font size to 20 and to differentiate this step from the rest I am going to select this go to shape fill and give it a different color maybe this yellow color is beautiful now let us go to the thumbnails view and let us duplicate this slide I am going to right click here and say duplicate slide and here I am going to move this from here to here of course in your case you might actually have a different caption for the second step then select the second step here and then give it the same yellow color and then for this one go to shape fill and use the eyedropper tool to select this color so that it goes back to the original color here so we have got our second step in place once again right click go to duplicate slide and repeat the process this bit we want in yellow color and this one in this color you can see since we have used our eyedropper that particular color has been put in the recent colors option I'm going to select that and I'm going to move this one to here so we have a caption for the third step and I'm going to keep doing that now we have completed our steps and you can see that we have six slides altogether and each slide represents one step in the circular flow process and we need to apply morph transition to make this whole thing work beautifully I'm going to select the second slide hold the shift button down as I select all the remaining ones and then I'm going to go to the transitions option go to morph transition and now let us go to the first slide where we don't have any transition the morph transition is only from the second one onwards and let us go to the slideshow mode here when I want to present the slide I will start with my explanation for the first step once the explanation is finished then I click to draw the viewers attention to the second step and then to the third step to the fourth step to the fifth step and then the final step so that is how you create this beautiful circular flow diagram complete with morph transition. 
Now, if you don't have Office 365 subscription and therefore don't have Morph Transition, then let us replace this 2 to 6 with a simple fade transition. Let us go to the first slide and the way the transition works is like this. As you can see here, the effect is just as good only that the magic doesn't seem to be there because the Morph Transition really makes this whole slide come alive. So whether you have Office 365 or not, you can still learn this useful tutorial and impress your boss and colleagues. Now I want to show you some creative variations of circular flow diagram taken from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. This bundle is a collection of more than 4020 premium PowerPoint templates that will make a mark on any audience that you present to. The first example is this one which is a very simple two-step circular process and of course you can replace this text with your own text. It doesn't matter what version of PowerPoint you use, you can still use these beautiful diagrams and you can see that we have a 3D effect here. If you want a hand-drawn variation, you can use something like this. As you can see here, it's a very simple layout and there is a very beautiful hand-drawn kind of an effect here and we have a three-step circular process. If you want a designer variation, you can see this is a four-step circular process and you can see that the impact is really beautiful. And if you want an animated version, slightly more exciting animated version, you can use something like this. And I would typically use this if I want to make a video presentation because these animations are a bit more pronounced and they are definitely going to draw the viewer's attention no matter how distracted they are. If you want a subtler variation with animation, you can use something like this which has five step circular process. On a click, I bring the viewer's attention to point one and then to point two, point three, point four and point five. A variation of this is something like this where you can see that each of these arrows has a different color as the animation happens. Interesting. And another interesting alternative is this one which shows six stages of life cycle. On a click, I bring the viewer's attention to stage one and then I draw the viewer's attention to stage two, stage three, stage four, stage five and stage six. Of course, at any point of time, you can customize any of these graphics because these are entirely done right inside PowerPoint. So you have full control in the way you can use these templates. I will leave a link to this useful product in the description box below the video. Click on the link, explore more about this useful product. Especially if you are someone who makes business presentations, then this is an investment definitely worth making. Finally, if you want to receive exclusive PowerPoint tips and tricks that I share only with my email subscribers, please join our newsletter called Success by PowerPoint. You will get access to our free email courses, any free giveaways and more importantly, we provide beautiful discounts and offers only to our email subscribers. So go ahead, click on the link here and join our newsletter and take your PowerPoint to the next level. I'll see you in the next video.